focus as your first game on a full contract. What does that feel like? Uh, it was a special feeling going out there for the first time. Um, you know, I dreamed of that moment since I was a little kid, and that was a really exciting feeling. Um, obviously, not the result that I would have wanted or the team would have wanted tonight, and um, real tough one to start out on. But you know, we've got a lot of games left, so. Obviously, you come to kind of the Houston game before as an impact. So, what's the mentality like with that? Um, you know. Can I make a difference? Can I change the game? I'm watching the game as I'm I'm on the sideline and looking for places that I can impact it and gaps that are going to be open. And um, I feel like I started off fairly well, and as we got in later in the half, things got a little bit more chaotic for us as we were chasing for a goal. But that's that's what I was looking for. Paul, uh, how important was it for you to come in and? level your, your attitude towards the game, knowing that you were coming in with a lot of emotion and it was a very important part of the game? Yeah. Um, you know, I'd, uh, the coaches gave me a lot of trust bringing me into that game at, at 2-0. Um, and, you know, it's the same as every game. I, I kind of prepare the same way in terms of how I'm going to come on and what I'm thinking about. And I usually write a word on my hand to use as like a cue. Um, you know, when my nerves kick in a little bit or whatever else today. So that word was joy. I just wanted to play joyfully and um, really enjoy the atmosphere and the experience of, of my first game here at Lumen. How were the conditions out there uh, with the smoke and whatnot? I mean, was that something that you noticed? Yeah, my mouth was definitely a lot more dry than normal. My throat was a little dry, and I think the other guys were echoing the same sentiment. Um, but. I didn't, you know, I would occasionally look up at the skyline and whatever, and that's where I would really notice it. But other than that, I don't think it affected us too much. I, I do think you would feel it when you would do a big run and you're you're looking to get some, some air back in your lungs and you'd feel that the air would is a little different tonight. Um, I'm sure it felt different for the fans too. And we appreciate that they all came out given the, the conditions tonight. What is the mood in the locker room after a performance like that? Um, Underwhelming. I think we all thought that game would go differently, and it didn't. And you know, giving up that early goal changed our game plan a little bit, and we had to adapt. And I never felt like we really got a, a foothold on the game. Um, I think the second half we started pinning them a lot more in their half a little bit, and started to get more control and, and whatever. But I, you know, that's not the result we wanted. And and um, yeah, guys are. You know, we're asking ourselves how we could have been better in some of those moments. I know I could have been better in some of the moments that I got today. So, What was halftime like? What were the conversations that you guys had about what happened in the first half? Happened? Yeah, uh, we, were, we talked a lot about the press. I um, felt like we were running a little bit too much and um, how we could deal with that and cut the game in half a little bit more and save, save Raul and, and Nico's legs a little bit. Um, I think we did a better job of that in the second half. I do think they had less control, and um, so I do think some of the adjustments we made were good. But we, we felt like we were very much still in the game at 1-0.